In this video, I want to show you how to properly import Photoshop files, what are the different import settings and what troubles you may run into. At first, let me open up Photoshop. As I will talk about what is a composition in After Effects, I will tell you that compositions in After Effects are similar to groups in Photoshop. And now you will see the first example why, because once you are importing Photoshop files with groups, those groups create separate compositions inside of After Effects. This is very convenient because you can open the groups right away and work with the layers. Here we have three example stamps. Let me maybe close the guides so you see the stamps and they have some effects on them. I will release one of the color overlays to make one black and the rest will stay as is. We have a square, a triangle and a rectangle. And now comes in the entire beauty of working with Adobe software because Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, they are very tight together in terms of the native tools and you will see that Adobe After Effects is also handling those layer styles. So it's not like you create something in Photoshop, you save it and you have absolutely no more control in After Effects, but certain elements and effects can be used natively also within After Effects. Let me move to After Effects. Importing, as you've learned in the previous lesson, can be done by double clicking in the project panel. I double click, I go back to my PSD and AI files folder. Currently I have one file here, I will use the stamps. You can click once on them and on the bottom side you have import as footage, compositions to retain the layer sizes or a simple composition. I can go with footage this time, I will click on import and now there appears an important window. Do you want to have editable layer styles from Photoshop or do you want to merge the layers to make the project a bit lighter, to make it easier for After Effects and if you are sure that you will not need to edit those preferences. Let me import the file both ways and you should do this also. Please open up After Effects and import the stamps file. At first, let us stay with this option. I hit OK and now what happened on the left side? We have a new composition called stamps and we have a new folder called stamp layers. This is something that After Effects does for us. Not only we've imported the PSD file, but we also got all the layers separate because if we would like to use only one layer here and use it right away, we can drag it right from the layers panel. Also, as I told you that groups are compositions, the rectangle, square and triangle so we could say eventually that After Effects is doing even too much for us, but this is only for our convenience because we have free access to the PSD file, to the PSD layers and to the PSD groups. And I can go for example light within the stamps, it also copied over my rulers and guides, which is also very useful. Now let me go inside one of the rectangles. This rectangle is a composition. Since compositions are similar to group, as I'm telling you, I go to Photoshop, I see this group itself has no effects. Only the layers inside of this group have some effects. So let us head over to After Effects. I have the rectangle group composition. I double click on it. And now I arrived at the two layers that we had in Photoshop. As I will open up those layers here, I open them. I see the layer styles panel appeared. And we have the inner shadow, the color overlay, the stroke, and we could also add new elements. By right clicking on the layer, going to layer styles, and we can either add the inner glow, the bevel em emboss, the satin, and more options. Just as you do in Photoshop. You right click here, you go to blending options, and you have all the different tools to work with. So as you can notice, we have the same native tools, maybe they are a bit harder to use in After Effects because you have to open the panels each separately, you have to work with the separate properties and this is getting really difficult. One enhancement that we have, we can press the tilde key by holding the mouse here and just pressing on it to enlarge one particular element of After Effects to the entire screen. Now let's do it the other way around, double click here, press on the stamps, hit footage or composition to import 
immediately in composition and this time around merge the layer styles into footage. As I hit OK, a new folder of course has appeared, a new composition has appeared. I go inside this composition, stamps 2. I go once again inside the rectangle and as I open up the layer 7 here, it will not have the effects because those effects will be flattened and merged into this layer. Just as if you would open up Photoshop, hit on the layer and rasterize the layer style. And this is how you can work and import properly PSD files. So always remember that you can use the native tools and have them still inside of After Effects for future editing. Also notice that grouping is very important in terms of how many compositions do you want to have inside of the After Effects file. Because if I will have three groups here, I will import it, I will become later in the stamps three separate compositions to work on. Thank you for your attention in this lesson. The next lesson will be about importing Illustrator files. This is also very, very important and Illustrator files are like the best tool for using in After Effects because you can create and convert them to shape layers and scale them infinitely. So stay tuned for this upcoming lesson to learn how to properly do it.